Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm back in the country, and I've got a lot of catching up to do, and I'm going to start today with the comparison between this Williams and the Snap-on T-Handle. These are identical. The Williams company, or whoever makes Williams, is also making them for Snap-on. So, although one is branded Williams and one is branded Snap-on, they are absolutely identical. Now this one from Williams sells for about $32. It's a shorter shaft ratcheting screwdriver. And if you look at the number, what we'll do is, because a lot of people say, I don't know how many ratchets it is, you know, whatever the number of teeth, this is how you do it. So I've got this lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at seven, it's gone one fourth of the way around. So this is probably around a 28 tooth. So you see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, in order to get 90 degrees, it's one fourth of 360. So four times seven is 28. So that's, that's a good guess. Could be plus one, minus one. Um, anyway, the other thing is a T handle really is good if it's in a ratchet form. If it's not in a ratchet form, you have to modify your grip on it, and it really doesn't have a good grip except right here. So if you have a ratchet, then it works well. These two also, you might notice, this one's branded Williams. It's about $32 for the short version. Snap-on makes three different lengths of these. The longest is the only one that appears to come according to their online catalog in black. Uh, and this is like 90 bucks. This is like 80 bucks. This one here in a snap-on, the short version, there's also a medium version, um, you know, is, is way out there compared to the $32 of the Williams. Now, a couple of things. One, the rotational or the direction changing here, this turns it in the direction you want to tighten. Now, a lot of them, I see that, go in the opposite direction. For instance, the SATA or the Michael Pro, they're identical. They're both the same company or the same rebrand here. But if I turn this, I have to turn this collar in this direction in order to tighten it that way. And then it's the opposite this way. My preference is really to turn it in the direction you want it to go. That's so much more intuitive. The other thing is, once you've got a grip on this, then it's best to hang on and do the ratcheting. If you don't have a ratcheting one, you've got to modify your grip. And to me, the T-handle only works in one way compared to a screwdriver that actually allows you to flip your hand around or rotate it around the center. So anyway, the price, obviously the snap-on is a lot more. However, check these numbers out. This is, it's here we've got the snap-on and the Williams. On the Williams USA, it says not a pry bar, chisel, or punch. And this says RE36797. Here is the snap-on. It says, it's got its product number, the SDD MR8T, or excuse me, T, read that again, SSDMRT8. But also over here, warning, not a pry bar, chisel, or punch. And this is the RE36797. As you can see, those two numbers are identical. In fact, the font's identical. The molding is identical. If you look at the ratcheting mechanism, it's identical. So this is around $32, something like that, 30 bucks plus or minus. Great solid design, this Williams, or you can pay a bunch more and get a snap-on. The snap-ons in the shorter variety come in red or orange. I would much prefer something other than black. However, for the price, it's about half. Maybe it's even more than more than half of, or, or less than half, I should say, of what the Snap-on is. And that's for the Williams version of this T-handle. I'll put a link below. Ideally, it's um, 
you know, it's the same thing, but fully functional. And it comes, as you can see here, with a snap-on bit as well, the SDM222 Phillips bit magnetic. So there you go. This is the Williams WRST1 ratcheting T-handle in the shorter shaft. And with that, Doc out.